I just received some batteries that I ordered from my Sony ZV-1 camera. It's a three pack with charger. Today we're gonna unbox these batteries and then I'm going to place them on the charger. Once they're fully charged, I'm gonna do a comparison video. We'll do a recording with the Sony ZV-1 with one of these batteries in it uh, and see how long it can record at 4K. And then we'll do the same with the standard Sony battery that came with the device. So here is the box with the batteries in it. It's by a company that I believe it's pronounced Numoa. It contains, again, the three batteries. The model of the battery is a NP-BX1. Uh, it fits a variety of different Sony cameras. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box. Number one, we have a piece of bubble wrap. Then we have three batteries. I'll go ahead and open up one of the batteries here. Let's take a look at the packaging, I guess, first, maybe before we open it up. So that's the exterior packaging of the battery. So it comes in this little plastic casing. This is side one of the battery. This is side two of the battery. Uh, regulatory markings. We have kind of a recycle symbol on the far left. Then we have the PSE mark, which I believe is a Japan marking. We have a CE mark. Rohas, kind of materials. And on the far right, we have the, oh, having some focus issues there. We have the Wii symbol on the far right, although it does not have the underline in it. And I believe after 2008, you're supposed to have an underline on there to indicate that the materials were put into the European market after 2008 without the line. It's supposed to be an indication it entered the market, I think, prior to 2008. I might have that year wrong, though. All right, so that's the battery. Second battery, very much like the first. I have a third battery. So it's a three pack. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the plastic containers. The little plastic containers have a little clasp that locks in place. So, three batteries. Next, we have a package with a USB cable. It comes with USB micro on one side and USB A on the other. Then it comes with the charger for the batteries. And by charger, it's really a holder. So we have three slots for the three batteries. So go ahead and take a battery. Just go in like that. There's an arrow. Looks like they point in this direction towards me. So that's the holder of the batteries on one side. It has the branding on there that says Numoa. So that's the side uh, that those arrows would point towards when you put them in the charger. On the other side, you'll notice there's a USB-C and a USB micro connector, and then you plug the other USB-A end into your wall charger or to a computer or whatever the source of charging is. So it doesn't come with the wall adapter, so that's one negative aspect of it all. Um, markings on the charger stand, it has the CE mark, it has the PSC mark, it has the house mark, which maybe that's home and office, but I don't really have that one memorized. Uh, then we have the Roja symbol, and then this part does have the correct marking for the WEEE -E -E setting or uh, requirement for Europe. It has the underline underneath the garbage can, which is indicating that it was put onto the marketplace after what that requirement changed, and again, I think it was 2008. So that's the stand with the three batteries in it. Now what we need to do is go ahead and plug this into a wall adapter, let them charge. After the charge, then we'll go ahead and do a comparison video to see how long these batteries last comparatively to the standard Sony battery that costs far, far, far way more money than all three of these batteries do. When all three batteries are charging, the lights are red in color. Right now we're using a USB micro to USB A to a RAV power two port power adapter that supports quick charge. So let's let those batteries charge up and then we'll do some testing.
Let's get ready to rumble! The upper half of the video was captured using the new MOA NPBX1 battery. The lower half of the video was captured using the Sony NPBX1 battery. Both videos were captured at 4K 30 frames per second and 100 megabit bitrate using the Sony ZV-1 camera, SV-1 for us Americans. The video clips will be sped up 10,000% in playback so you can see the outcome within 60 seconds rather than waiting for 60 minutes. Who do you think will win the battle? What will the margin of victory be? Place your bets now! Let's rumble! And the winner of the match and the undisputed champion is the Sony by over 9 minutes and 37 seconds. So as you just saw, the Sony battery outlasted the Nomoa battery in this head-to-head -head 4K comparison. It lasted over 9 minutes longer. So what do you think you're going to do? Would you spend the $35 and get the additional Sony battery that lasts nine minutes longer? Or would you spend $21 and get three Nomoa batteries and a charging stand and a USB cable? Make sure to comment below. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching the video and I hope to see you in a future video.